finally the first version of the digital watch completely from the 3D printer um, the wristband is made of soft PLA you can see here very smooth and uh, the watch housing is made of uh, ABS on the right side of the watch you can see one button that controls all the functions of the watch I wanted to keep all the functions very simple and clear to understand the watch can display time and date with 12 decolored LEDs around the watch face. In the middle you can see the status LED which shows whether PM or AM time is displayed. The first key press enables the watch for about 6 seconds and the current time is displayed. Another key press on the bottom and the watch switches into the second mode, the date mode, which shows the current date. And if you press again on the button, it switches back to the time mode. In time mode, one green LED indicates the current hour. The red LED and the orange LEDs indicate the current minute. Because we have only 12 B colored LEDs available, we need to show the minutes on a 5 minute basis. And add or subtract the number of illuminated orange LEDs which are illustrating the minutes on a minute basis. We cannot hold the watch all the time enabled. The reason for this is very simple, we need to limit the power consumption. Keep in mind that in this application in standard coin cell is used as power source. And even though we are using very low power LEDs with a power consumption of 1 mA each, the coin cell's typical discharge current is about only 10 microamps to achieve a lifetime of a couple of months. This is the reason we need to limit the runtime of the watch and shut it off if we don't need it. If you want to adjust the time, you just need to keep the button pressed for about 3 seconds when you are in time or in date mode. Blinking LEDs indicate that the watch is in just mode and that you can simply increment hours or minutes by pressing on the button. The current hour is saved if you are pressing the button again for 3 seconds. And with the same procedure also the minutes can be adjusted. The time is not saved in the case of a timeout of about 10 seconds. The date can be adjusted by the same process. You just need to be in date mode and press the button for 3 seconds again. Now you got the first impression of my watch. In general I wanted to keep the control of the watch very simple by using only one button. The face should not look like an off-the-shelf watch with an LCD display. I want to have a classic watch with all the possibilities to adjust the watch housing and wristband with the 3D printing technologies. Thanks for watching the video and please feel free to send me feedback if you got further ideas for improvements.